quickly for you. Hey, My name hi. is Tom Ziska from Channel 3 down in Huntington. How do you do? <laughs> Welcome back Pleasure to Portsmouth. Meeting you. Thank Pleasure you. meeting you. Jack McCracken, we met a couple of months ago when the mayor was giving you another certificate. Ah, yes. <laughs> Have you ever gotten used to the fact that your daughter's an internationally known opera star? No. <laughs> How does it feel to have her home? That's great. <laughs> I was surprised she came down here. My mother got out, just got out of the hospital about four, uh, three weeks ago. And um, so we're just happy that she's feeling a little more, um, a little stronger these days. Yeah. Yeah. Kathleen Battle, soprano superstar, comes home. Big event. Mm-hmm. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, giving us red and beige. And Sunny's got yellow on. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Happy Good Easter. Uh-oh. Young Hills Ripley. Let me go. <laughs> You'd have a crowd on Easter. Uh, and when we sit, it might be filled up. Today is Easter, so I like to get there on time today. The sermon last, last time was, it's your choice. And he said, it's your choice. If you come back to church, it's your choice. <laughs> 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 it's your choice whether you come to church at all or not. I was back to saying amen, amen. And then he said, it's your choice if you come in late. <laughs> I thought you'd go there to get ready to go to church. Oh, you probably do put on a jacket and that skirt you got on and some shoes. Kathy's probably gonna sing. And you know, she might even sing, I trust in God. No. <laughs> so, you're not gonna go? That chicken smells good. You sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I took the lid off of the uh, chicken because it was um, going over a little bit or something. Yeah. So, got my camera. Well, we'll see. I guess Sharon will be here by the time we get back. See you later. Trust in God wherever 
first, but you know you're grown up. But I know you're grown up. I just want you all to help me tell this story about Marion, okay? Uh, that we all grew up together. And Marion was my first. Um, When you sang in the choir, I played. I yes. had the privilege of playing for Yes, her. but also when I made my the beginnings of my solo career, right? Right. Mm -hmm. From when I was this tall, maybe oh, that tall. Yeah. Well, we would go around, and Marion was. It was like Marion Parker and Kathleen Battle. Marion played <laughs> the piano, <laughs> and we played. We um, performed it not only at this church but other churches and civic, all through the community yeah, all through the community civic functions and so forth and so on and I would go and have my rehearsals at Marion's house and so Marion did the first accompanying you know and um, teaching me these songs like how great thou art the Lord's Prayer so Marion is very special in my life okay she's very special and, in mine also though. And this is my sister who um, gave me the inspiration to sing because she sang in this very choir loft, right. soloing, and um, and Leela sang as well. But Carol, of all of the members of our family, was the first one to um, be thought of as possible, potentially, a singer. Washington, as in Booker T. Washington, and uh, this was the um, all-black grade school that was, at one point, um, first through sixth grade, and so this was my, as well as all my brother. It's formed a, a large part in who we all are. We have very strong um, role models in our teachers, and it was a strong kind of community-based support and that the church formed one uh, community center, and then I would say the school as well. I mean, anything you did, always go back to your parents because these teachers were like, they all lived in your neighborhood anyway, so you couldn't get away with anything. And they challenged you and they expected the best from you. They demanded it. They were tough. And it was a great school. It wasn't really segregated, but it was, it was all black. <laughs> Because we spent so many, so much of our time in the summer at Dreamland Pool, that's where we're going to have it. The reunion. What reunion? Her class reunion. Class reunion. Uh -huh. You all said that? At Dreamland Pool. Mine didn't say that. Yeah, the first paragraph of the letter invited me to whatever number reunion, because I don't want to mention that, said that as teenagers, we had so much fun or spent so much of our life at Dreamland Pool, we thought that this reunion, well, we should spend it that evening at Dreamland Pool. But we didn't, we couldn't go to Dreamland Pool then. And I'm not going to go to Dreamland Pool now. What? Because blacks weren't allowed. Mm -hmm. I remember some friends uh, jumped in the pool one summer and uh, became a police issue. They were arrested for jumping in the pool at Dreamland Pool. Mm -hmm. We didn't even know that we were underprivileged. We really didn't. We weren't I mean, all of our associates were in the same status that we were. And we were normal. Everybody else was abnormal. And for that reason, we grew up very close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which make this, made us very privileged, not underprivileged. Right. That's a state mm -hmm. of rich in the things that really counted. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this drug business, mm -hmm. drinking, that. Those weren't even considerations when we were coming up. We weren't interested. We weren't missing anything. We didn't have cars. We walked where we went. Uh, we went to church. 
Very strong belief in God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah.